The future of fireworks at Mount Rushmore is now in the hands of an appeals court. Last year, Governor Christy Nome decided to file a lawsuit claiming it was unconstitutional for the National Park Service to deny South Dakota's application for a July display. A federal judge denied the lawsuit and Nome appealed it. Today, attorneys on both sides of the case had 15 minutes in front of a panel from the 8th U.S. Court of Appeals. Kelloland's Renee Ortiz listened in on today's arguments in St. Louis. In July of 2020, the fireworks display lit up the sky over Mount Rushmore. It's a sight Governor Christy Nome would like to see every year. When the state applied for a 2021 show, the permit was denied, which led to a lawsuit and eventually today's hearing. Nome's attorney argued that permits should be granted based on the research done in 2020 for that year's fireworks show. It is the superintendent's professional judgment that there will be no impairment of park resources and values from implementation of the fireworks show. One of the judges disagreed and said that the Mount Rushmore case was moot. Is it, isn't every year a, a, a new slate, a new season, a new whatever analogy you want to use? And so this case is absolutely moot in every regard. A judge also questioned how permits are approved or denied and wanted information on the deadlines. An attorney for the federal government responded. The agency is still taking this under consideration and looking at all the factors. There, there are a number of things that need to be considered and a number of people who need to be brought into the decision-making process, um, which is the reason that it, it took time um, last time around. In Sioux Falls, Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. Now, the judges also heard from an attorney for the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe. Following today's hearing, the judges will decide whether the case should move forward. Well, 